name is Leti Chiwara. I am the UN Women Representative to Ethiopia, to the Africa Union Commission, and to the Economic Commission for Africa, based in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It is a pleasure for me to be in this space where we are talking about the fourth global revolution, which is being driven by ICTs, and where we are as UN women advocating for more girls and women to be at the center of that revolution. A generation of female techies like 17-year-old Mushtaha Abdallah. I believe girls should have equal opportunity. I believe everyone should have equal opportunity to do, to learn, to have a complete chance of learning, to be able to compete with everyone else, to learn technology, to be able to achieve what they want. They should not be limited by society, they should not be limited by tradition. Because technology is very important and girls should have a chance to go into the industry. So for me and for UN women, we think that communities are built from the home, as you rightly said. And therefore, the, it is at the home that we need to begin to bring a culture of change. With that in mind, as UN women, we have recently launched a global coalition for change. Uh, in New York and within the global coalition for change the idea is to bring various stakeholders including governments private sector academia non-governmental organizations and of course community and individuals themselves to begin to look at innovation and entrepreneurship using ICTs as a tool so with that global coalition what we want to do is to raise awareness what we want is to build capacities, what we want is to build partnerships, and what we want is to advocate for investments that can actually allow for access to ICTs and technology at all levels, including in communities and at rural areas. So that's one big global initiative. We've also launched another program that I think is very important for you to know the global facility, which is a global facility targeting the private sector and IT companies and, uh, and, and communications related entrepreneurs, where we are saying, bring all your resources together into this global facility. And with that funding, we can be able to provide the opportunities and the resources that are needed to build capacities buy the equipment and of course uh, do the awareness and the community conversations we want to em embark on. So there is a lot happening globally but in Africa of course we are looking at our partnership with the ITU where we are talking about coding for girls. With approximately 90 ambitious young girls, 30 African nations converged in Ethiopia's Browning Addis Sababa where education and equality remains a major concern, United Nations women through the African Girls Can Code initiative in partnership with ITU and African Union change the status quo of the African girl child. Uh, une fois que je serai dans mon pays, je pourrai juste transmettre aux autres ce que j'ai appris, euh, apprendre plus parce que je ne vais pas tout apprendre sur la technologie ici. Je suis juste en train d'apprendre un peu. J'apprends déjà plus que je ne plus que je ne sais déjà, j'en sais peu, j'apprends plus que je ne sais déjà, mais je vais continuer d'apprendre et je vais continuer de transmettre. Nowadays, technology, the whole world is run by technology. You'll find it in medicine, you'll find it in, um, in manufacturing, you'll find it everywhere around you. So if girls don't learn how to, uh, how to program or how to be able to deal with technology, they will not have a chance to go on forward. They will not have a chance to be as successful as they can be. And girls deserve the chance, as equally as men, to be able to enter all these fields. The project is focused to endow young women into science discipline areas like design thinking, robotics, gaming, animation, and fashion. When we teach a, a, a kid or a young girl uh, programming, uh, the aim of this is to make them producer of technology, not just a consumer. So having more girls in, in, in technology means having more producer of technology in our continent. It means that we will have more ideas 
uh, different views uh, of technology, and you never know that maybe the next Mark Zuckerberg will be a girl from, from Africa. The target is to train 1,000 girls across Africa and strengthen ICT and gender in the education system and overly to promote more girls and women in ICT and coding over the next four years. And we want girls to be in the coding game because coders are becoming billionaires. And so we want our African girls to become the billionaires of tomorrow. Euh, l'application que je veux créer et parce que si euh, j'arrive à comprendre ce qu'on nous apprend ici, apprendre à coder, apprendre le robotique, tout ça, pour pouvoir créer euh, d'autres choses seulement, moi-même, moi, moi, euh, moi <rire> sans compter sur aucune personne. Ouais, C'est ça. The launch of African Girls Can Code initiative comes at a time of need. A necessity which AU intends to realize in the Vision 2063 meant to tackle women empowerment. The future generation of Africa, especially the young girls of Africa, will have better job uh, opportunities, will be uh, employed, will have uh, employment opportunities because they have the means for that, which is uh, gaining the skills of uh, in, uh, technology, knowing the latest, knowing how uh, to code, uh, knowing how uh, to program. Uh, these skills is going to be initiated through this uh, project. Kasia Kulu, Science and Technology Sector News, Connect World Television, Durban.